So now let's create a flower. So I'm going to take a rose flower as an example and then I'm going to create one. So to do that, I'm going to take plain object right here. So I'm going to take a plain object. I'm going to enable the NB so that I can actually see uh, the edges right here. And on the edges, I'm going to uh, set everything, the width and height segment to 5 pen 5. So one of them is going to be four, just like this, and that's okay. So once everything is set, I'm going to uh, convert this into a polygon by pressing on C right here, and then I'm going to select the uh, points right there. And from the top view over here, I'm going to give it a petal-like shape now. So I'm just going to drag both of these points as you can see. So I got two of these points right here. So I'm going to go over here onto the live selection. I'm going to select both of these, drag it over here, select both of these, and drag it on the back. I'm going to drag this one over here just like this, just like that, and I'm going to drag this one over here. To give it a bulgy like shape as in a petal, I'm just going to drag out the points right over here. So okay, it's kind of like round as you can see right over here. So I'm going to select this and drag it around so that it is a bit round, just like this. So just click this and drag this around over here. Click this, drag it around over here. So I'm just going to click this as well and drag it around. So just click this, drag it around over here. Just click this, drag it around over here as well. So once you're happy with that, I can also make it a bit of soft just like this. I'm just going to drag it along to give it a bit of a soft like shape right here. So it kind of looks like a petal as you can see right here. So I want to make everything smooth as you can see. So I'm going to go over here on to the subdivision surface. I'm going to create a subdivision surface uh, just like that and then uh, make a tile of the subdivision surface right over here. So now, just like that, you can see that it is quite smooth. So I'm going to go over here onto the side and you can see that this is how it looks. So I'm going to select the plane object and I'm going to select all of these points as you can see and then this ball, balls them a bit upwards. So this balls them upwards and you can see that that is how everything looks like. So just select everything out and balls them upwards and that is how everything looks like. I can select random points just like this and balls them upwards as well, just like that. And select everything out just like that and balls them upwards as well, just like that. And that is how you create a petal-like shape just like that. So now all I need to do is duplicate everything out and they look like petals. So I can just drag it along up above and down and you can see that that is how it looks. So now uh, in order to make it a flower-like shape, I'm going to grab the subdivision shape and then move it along the side just like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rotate this around. So I'm going to uh, uh, hold control and drag it out. And you can see that this is how it actually comes up. So you can actually uh, rotate this around as well. So I'm going to go over here on to the rotation tool right here. I'm going to select this object. I'm going to go around in the rotation tool right here and I'm just going to rotate this along right here, just like that. So now I'm going to have something like minus, um, like 180 degrees and apply it. So let's say minus 180 degrees and apply it. So this is not working for some reason. I'm just going to select this and in the coordinates right here, I'm just going to enter the value over here. So you can see that it is actually rotating, but not on the right side. So 180 degrees right over here and it rotates around uh, in another axis as you can see. So let me just move this around just like that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, just group these objects out or uh, I can make it a child of one another as well. So just make it a child uh, just like that. So I'm going to create something like a null object to do that and make the make the style of both the null object right here. So it's easier for me to control this. So I'm just going to grab my rotation tool, my null object. You can see that it is in the center. I'm going to hold control and drag it out over here just like this. And it duplicates out along just like that. As you can see, just duplicate it along, out along and over here, you can see that it is like a petal. So, but this is way too close together. So I'm just going to have uh, three, uh, six petals right here. So you can see that this is how it actually looks like. So let's drag it along over here and drag it along over here on this side right over here and drag it along and there you go. So I'm just going to drag it along over this side as well. And when I do that, you can see that it actually drags along around that side as well. And I can rotate out long and you can see that this is how 
you can actually create more uh, copies of these as well. So uh, I want to dra drag it along on the same axis right over here. So the trick I'm going to use is I'm going to use another null object. Let me just work around with this. So I'm going to use another null object over here. So another null object, I'm going to make this null object a child of the null object 4. And now you can see that the axis is in a different position. So I can just hold control and I can actually move it, move it along just like this. And this is how it actually works along as you can see right here. So move it along over here, uh, over here, just like this. Move it along over here, just like this. And move it along over here, just like this, as you can see. And that is how it actually is working like. So just move it along over here and then move it along over here as well. So that is how it actually looks like. And you can see that this uh, resembles a flower right over there. So uh, I can actually uh, make all of these null objects uh, a part of another big null object right here. So just grab everything out, keep it inside. Uh, right here inside the null object and there you go. So this null object are the petals right over here and there you go. So you have the petals right over here. So you can also make a stem right here. So it actually looks like a stem. So I'm going to uh, create a regular Q object or a cylindrical object would do as well. So I'm going to drag a cylinder. I'm going to move it aside in order for me to actually work around with it well. So I can just expand the shape of this right here. So I'm just going to um, go over here onto the cylinder and I want to work around with its uh, division. So right over here on the segments, you can see that I can work around with its segments right over here. So on the uh, segments, I want to go over here on to the object. I want to work around with high segments. Let, let's say I want to have six segments and rotation segments. I don't want to have many. Let's say I just want to have around four, just like that. So once I'm happy with the segments that I have, I can go on to the cylinder and I can uh, press the C icon right over here. Uh, C, um, uh, C key right over here. And now what I can do is I can sim simply select out uh, the uh, simply select out the live selection just like that and then this, this select out the live selection the rectangular selection selected from the side and I can pull everything above just like this as you can see right here so I can just pull everything out above select everything out over here from the side and pull it above just like that and I can just pull it above just like that so just pull these everything out over here from the side and pull these out as well so pull this down over here and pull these down as well. So just pull everything down over here from this section as well. So once everything is done, I can actually uh, add in a subdivision surface onto this, onto the uh, cylinder right here, onto the subdivision surface. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the cylinder right over here. I'm going to select the cylinder, move it aside just like that, move it aside just like that over here as well and move these aside over here as well and these ones aside as well. So once everything is done, I'm going to go over here onto the petals, onto the top view to align everything out. So just align everything out over here onto the side and from this side as well, I'm going to align everything onto the top over here. So then align everything out. So once everything is done, I can select everything out. I'm going to uh, keep everything in the center so that it's easier for me to manage uh, a null, a parent null object for this one as well. So now everything is done. I'm going to grab this one upwards because I want this to be the center point over here. So I'm just going to drag it on this side. I'm going to create another null object. So I'm going to go over here on and create a null object, drag both of them into the null object right over here. So once that's done, you can see that this is the flower and I can create multiple versions of this just like that. But before that, let's add in materials to this. So double click, add in materials over here and you can see that it only applies to one of the objects. So I need to apply it on everything right over here. So let me just drag it and keep it on all the flower petals as you can see right here. So drag it and keep it on all the flower petals. Just like that, I'm going to that. Or you can also combine the shapes, but in my case, I have separate shapes right here. So I have to drag it in individual petals as you can see right here. So you can see that the color has been filled up. So the top four has been remaining right over here. So this uh, the top four is there. 
and there you go these are the petals just like that just double click and i can add in the map value over here as well so this one is for the petals so i'm going to say petals right over here and this one is going to be for the stem right over here so this is for the stem so once everything is done i can go to the petals right here and i can work around with the petals so i'm going to go over here onto the petals and over here on the petals uh let me choose something like a rose pink right here something like this color and for the stem i'm going to choose something like a green color a dark green color right over here just like that and once everything is done what i can do is uh, I'm going to enable a floor, something like that, a floor, and I'm going to enable the physical sky right over here. So I'm just going to resize everything out because this is way too much for uh, a, a rose. So I'm just going to resize everything out over here from this side and focus on this area. So press S and I can just rotate this out and create some copies of this, just like this. As you can see, so I have copies of this over here and copies of this, this over here. So I'm going to select the now object over here again. So now object, both of the now object, just copy these around over here as well, just like that. Copy these around and there you go. So there's a bunch of flowers as you can see right there. I can also copy everything out over here. So there are a lot of now objects as you can see. So I can copy all of them out, including the top one as well. So I'm just going to select everything uh, up over here and then I can create duplicates of this as you can see right here. And just like that, I, I can just create a whole range of duplicates of these flowers right over here, just like that. So just create a range of duplicates just over here. So once that's done, you can see that you got a flower base, but that's too much for the system to handle. So I'm just going to focus on these ones. So once that's done, I'm just going to render everything out. So press Control R and you'll be able to see how that looks like. So that is how flowers can be modeled and you can see that this is how you can have little details to create wonderful outputs. So let, let's go view it from the side to see how it actually looks like over here. So that is how you model flowers inside of Cinema 4D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.